all right good evening this is 7 35 p.m 7 36 tuesday august 20 2024 and just a quick check-in as usual um don't have anything else to share uh great day um, got my Japanese lesson in today morning so I'm pretty happy about it yeah <laughs> I procrastinate so much with that like but I'm finally starting to get the hang of it and I'm getting a bit more consistent and by consistent I mean at least I'm doing something every week <laughs> which is which is still an achievement because I procrastinate for six months on the Japanese lesson <laughs> so this is definitely an improvement um anyways yeah i'm finally getting a hang of it so that's great got my running as usual that's pretty much my mo most consistent habit uh today i got lazy with my push-ups pull-ups in just got like one set in at the evening i just didn't feel like doing it or didn't feel like i felt like i wouldn't be able to do it for some reason i just felt very listless <laughs> but i still did at least one set just for the you know sake of it um so i did do it um you know what i would just get one more done now um i wanted to do my uh, mobility course session today but i don't know what i was i, I was distracted by something around 4 p.m which is usually the time i do it so i didn't do it and here we go one day missing it again but definitely tomorrow um yeah so that's it that's pretty much it for today my steps are i did get my steps in proper today i believe it was 21 so i did get my steps in 20, 22,000 steps which is daily goal minimum daily goal which is 20,000 steps check quick as well um, oh, 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 oh. All right. sixty nine point six yep is definitely under seventy safely I'm actually under sixty nine as well um because early morning when I weigh myself I'm around sixty eight point somewhere so by this week, I'll try to be safely under 69 by the end of this week, which should be doable um, because I'm already somewhere around that. Um, but if I eat something, I drink water, whatever, I do uh, cross it. But yeah, so that would be my target weight wise this week. Uh, although that said, I don't like to put weight goals because there is a lot of i'm gaining muscle as well uh thanks to my push-ups and pull-ups i do uh, but this i think i can safely lose three or four kgs of weight from my current weight easy easy three or four kgs very safely and it would just be fat because i do have lots of flab even now uh stomach so and around my butt area and stuff like that i do have i can feel the fat i can literally pinch it so um yeah i have weight to lose it's not much but three or four kgs safely i should be able to uh, right now i my fat percentage should be around 15 percent somewhere uh 15 percent fat and i can definitely easily lose three or four kgs and reach somewhere around 14 13 to 14 percent somewhere so that should be doable and honestly 12 percent would be doable which would which would be according to my current weight which is around 69 i think i can drop easily under 65 like completely safely under 65 which would be 63 somewhere and if i eat some stuff i'll be in 65 so i definitely can safely be around 65 i don't know about 60 60 might be a tall order um 
but I know I can put my weight under 63 and very safely under 65. So even if I eat food, I'm not crossing 65. That is definitely doable, I can tell. So I'm definitely targeting that as my weight wise. But if I gain more muscle, um, but 65 would still be doable, even if I gain a bit more muscle. So yeah, that's definitely a target. Um, so we'll try hitting it before this year ends. Hopefully I can see my abs by then. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah it's about time I see my abs it's been 31 fucking years of my existence and I haven't seen my abs yet not even a single time like I've come close to it but yeah not really so this time for abs <laughs> so, even if just for the satisfaction of it I want to see it once and maybe come back up again in fact but it's it's from what the, I, from my research I did, it's very doable to have visible abs and still not be super crazy lean. So definitely doable. Obviously with my body type, which is skinny, fat, kind of like at the worst. Uh, with my body type, it, it's a bit harder to have visible abs and not be super skinny. Uh, but at least like some lines, I, if I can see it, I'm happy with that. I don't want that complete like defined cuts and stuff. Would be nice if I could have it, but I don't want that much. Like if I have to be miserable throughout the day, because I want to perform, not have, have abs. Abs isn't my priority performances. So that with the abs though, my ultimate goal is to have some lines, visible lines. That's it. I don't want the like deep cuts, like deep cuts. I don't have to have it, but visible lines. That's something I want to have as a standard. So that's what I'm going for. And I feel by that time, at that weight, I'll have lots of advantage in running as well and pull-ups, push-ups. Everything I do will have massive improvement just because I lose weight. So I do want to lose weight for that reason as well. So, and also this, I, I hate this a bit of a double chin I have, which is like not much. You know, it, it is not at all actually. Uh, I have it way better than many others, but I still, it still bothers me just this, even this small bit. Because I don't have much of a chin to begin with. So, if I need to cut a bit more to have this a bit of a chin. So, that is definitely something I want a bit. Um, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I'm working on my neck as well, which is, I feel like it's helping, but I can't see much improvements currently, but I know it's helping. I can feel a bit more strength in my neck these days, so, which is great. It's just been like two weeks, two to three weeks now that I'm working on my neck and I can already feel some improvement, which is, which is awesome. That's it. So that's it. Good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow.